Hello and welcome to Robison Wells Hobby Terrain. The poll results are in for what you guys wanted to see me do next, and the vote was overwhelmingly in favor of Warhammer 40k Terrain. This is not surprising, as 40k is the most popular game I paint minis for, so more people have an attachment to it. I just need to figure out how to do it justice. What I do have is an ever-expanding Space Marines army that is in need of some good screen time. Now these are a mix of models, some of which I painted two years ago and some of which I painted this week. I had honestly written them off as a bunch of Space Marines that I had in a box that maybe I'll sell on eBay one day, but the more I got them out and looked at them, the more I remembered why I liked them. They're a homebrew chapter, which, if you don't follow Warhammer lore, means they're not one of the official groups of Space Marines in the canon, but they're a chapter I made up in my head and painted because I thought they looked cool. Now there's some retconning going on here. On all of these models they had blue bodies and white helmets, and their helmets all had some amount of red on them. At the time I painted them a year and a half ago, I viewed that as just an aesthetic choice, but as I look at them now, I want to have some story-driven reason for the white and red helmets. So the story is this. They're a successor chapter of the Ultramarines. This is because they started out blue and because I started out using some of the Ultramarine transfers on some of them a while ago. They're a chapter called the Bloody Skulls, which the white helmet representing the skull and the red representing the blood. Different units have different patterns of blood on their helmets. Intercessors have the straight mohawk, Reavers have everything but their skull masks, Eradicators have a sort of three-pronged mohawk, and all of the commanders have a single streak of blood dripping down the center of the skull. The Blade Guard, because they're all grizzled veterans, all have a streak of blood, and the Blade Guard Captain, the leader of the entire group, has three streaks of blood. The only variation from this blue and white and red scheme started with the chaplain, who I painted in black as a chaplain should be. But I liked the way he looked so much, and I had this whole squad of assault intercessors who were unpainted, so they quickly became his retinue. Black armor with a white helmet of a regular intercessor, but with a blue pauldron on one side to ind indicate their traditional blue armor, and a red X on the other pauldron, because hey, if I'm making my own chapter and never playing the game and ignoring the rules, then why can't my assault intercessors look like Blood Angel's death company? But I found something as I was painting the black armor. I wasn't just doing my standard base coat and dry brush. I was actually doing gradients to the paint, using shading and highlights instead of relying on washes, and actually doing some, albeit sloppy, edge highlighting. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So when I had this Devastator to assemble and paint, I decided to do him in black as well, making him a part of the retinue of this chaplain who was quickly gaining quite a following in my army. I actually made a video of me assembling and painting this Devastator, and it's the closest thing I've ever gotten into an in-focus painting tutorial. But again, this isn't a painting channel, and if you've come for painting advice, you're going to be disappointed. My attempt to paint this guy was hampered by three things. First, I still have complete numbness in two fingers on my left hand. Second, I am wearing a brace on my arm that won't let me bend my left arm at the elbow. And third, the only way that I could film everything in picture, in focus, was to set up the camera directly in front of me on a short tripod essentially blocking my view of the miniature, which is why you're getting a time lapse of the painting process instead of a step-by-step. -step. To be honest, I had all but given up on Games Workshop. Back when I painted my last Sister of Battle in the spring of 2020, I packed them all up, sold most of them on eBay, and was just left with this Space Marine army. I put them in a box and forgot about them, and it wasn't until I was cleaning my office a few weeks ago and really questioning whether I should sell these on eBay too, that I decided I ought to paint the remaining models. And as much as I love Bolt Action and Hail Caesar and Conflict 47 and Perry Miniatures and Black Seas, Games Workshop got its claws back into me. I don't know what it is about them. Well, I do know that they make the best models in the industry, bar none, because they're the mighty behemoth with the big budgets and the best talent. 
They charge more than the other guys, of course, but you're paying a premium for what I consider to be quality. Guys, just when I thought I was out, Games Workshop pulled me back in. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Now I'm at a crossroads. My birthday is coming up in a few weeks, and I've been debating what to spend my birthday money on. Birthday money plus Patreon plus buy me a coffee is enough to get me a full bolt action starter army, or it's enough to get me a couple boxes of Games Workshop minis, or, dare I say, one single large scale miniature. Man, I want to paint more Tarion. The thing is, I've kind of caught the painting bug. I want to try painting without the basic wash and dry brush approach, though I admit that it has served me well through dozens of armies. I want to paint something that can be a centerpiece, something that I won't just knock out in the weekend, but will spend many weekends getting better and better, trying new techniques and improving my skills. Here's where I stand. For years I have been watching painting channels on YouTube, painting channels of all kinds, and I have been drawn to channels that emphasize painting the battle-ready standard and getting your minis on the table ready to play games. Some of the very best of these are Sonic Sledgehammer, a terrific channel, who introduced me to Bold Action, and Midwinter Minis, another terrific channel, who introduced me to speed painting. And yes, I have watched the other channels that are out there with interests, channels like Squidmar and Miniac and Ninjon, but their skill level has always been so much higher than mine that I dismiss them as wasting their time. Why spend so much time on a bust when you could have painted an entire start collecting box in half the time? Their painting advice never made much of an impact on me, and I never even really attempted it. But I think that's all going to change. I finally decided that I want to get better at painting miniatures. Unless you think this is going to turn into a painting channel, it's not. It may chronicle the journey that I have when working my way through advanced techniques, but this will never be a channel where I teach you how to glaze or wet blend because A, I don't think I'm going to be an expert anytime soon, and B, this channel is still ostensibly dedicated to terrain. Speaking of which, I've finished painting all of these space marines so I can do the epic Warhammer 40k terrain build that you all voted for, and these marines are going to feature prominently in it. I have no idea what it will look like yet, but I kind of have the idea that I'm going to dive into it, finish it, film it, and then put this entire Space Marine army up for sale on eBay. I'm not precious about my armies and I don't play the game. I think that I will be happier converting the well-painted army into cash that I can then convert into new models to paint and continue in my hobbying journey. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you have ideas about what model I should spend my birthday money on to try my painting skills on, drop a comment below. And if you'd like to contribute to that birthday fund, you can either become one of my very awesome patrons, whose names are right here, or you can drop a one-time tip in the jar at Buy Me A Coffee. I really appreciate all the people like you who keep me stocked in paints and models, and I appreciate it more than you know. In the meantime, stay safe, wear your masks, get your vaccination as soon as you can, and take care of each other. I'll see you next week.